We're here at International Quilt Market 2013, and I'm very excited to introduce you to someone you've heard about her, but you haven't met her, and her name is Ellen, and Ellen is Libby's sister, and I call you Ellen Lehman, but that's not right. It's not right, but it's close enough. I'm in Libby's family. <laughs> that's right. Well, this is really great because at the last minute, Carrie Bresenhan had the genius thought to put together an exhibit of Libby's quilts. I think it kind of drove her own staff crazy, <laughs> but uh, we were very excited uh, that she would honor Libby in this way and that we could say thank you to all the people that have been so supportive since Libby had her stroke and she can't be here today, so. Oh, but she's here. She's, she's here, here in here. spirit and she'll hear all about it. Yeah, and here, this quilt behind us, this is the most famous quilt. It's her joy ride that I happen to know that is normally in their dining room. Yes. But Lester let it come here to play. The other thing is that they've put the quilts in chronological order of Libby's and when she started, right? Yes, it was things we had in her studio, some we found in the attic, and some were on the wall. But uh, the, the Carrie's people have put it in chronological order from her oldest to her newest. And I found that very interesting because I really had kind of lost track of when she made different things. Uh, you know what, I think it's interesting too to watch and see the progression. So of course we're gonna share these quilts with you. Now you guys knew that Libby was kind of famous, out there teaching. Well, we knew she was really, really good. And we didn't have much to compare it to, but we had no idea how really, really famous she was. But more importantly, how much she had touched other people's lives. And when we started getting the stories through Caring Bridge and emails, we just, we knew Libby was a warm and wonderful person, but we didn't realize how many other people. We <laughs> know it too. And their stories of how she encouraged them were the part I knew Libby would, would mean the most to her too. Right, right. And we share them with her. We read them to her and we tell her about them. And That's right, you guys, listen. You can go to the caringbridge.org.com. It's .org. .org, and then slash Libby Lehman. It's just visit in between. caringbridge.org slash visit slash Libby Lehman. Yes, the family, from my point of view, not being a part of this family, is graciousness is not even the word to explain how sharing you've been of this whole process of Libby, who we love too. And there's a place to comment on the Caring Bridge and they read it to Libby. And I'm gonna tell you something, I got to see her a couple days ago and she gets it and she even asked for pictures of Lev. Now how do you even top that? So Ellen, you're gonna be here for part of the exhibit, so are the other sisters, Les? We'll have someone from what we call Team Libby, which is family members and close friends, here for kind of an extended lunch hour every day. Awesome. 11 to 2-ish. Awesome. So and if, someone will be here. And so if you're gonna be here, be here. And if it's after, sorry, because this is pretty extraordinary. Let's go look at her first quilt. Okay. So this is the earliest one in this particular collection, and it's in 1981? Yes, and blue and white are favorite colors because those are rice colors, actually blue and gray. Yay! But I think they misspelled it. This is Nautius, which is a funny word, but <laughs> without the L. Red sky in the morning, by morning. Just beginning to discover she could do different things. And then this is? These are New Mexico series. It and looks to me like she maybe took a class from Margaret Miller. We don't know. That might be. And this yeah. actually belongs to Sarah Youngblood, one of okay. our friends. And she was a partner with my mother in a quilt shop. Okay. And then we're getting into the Santa Fe colors. Then. Pegas, yeah. And this is one of my favorites because I love yellow. And it's called Native Sun. You know, a lot of people are afraid of yellow, which is interesting to me. Oh, what a shame. I know. <laughs> <laughs> called Times Square. Now this is Daydreams. Oh, Daydreams. Times Square is over there. Oh. This is one of her milder ones. She must have been in a mellow mood. Really? Because there's look not at, very many of those. I mean, look at this one. And then, yeah, this, <laughs> I thought she was going a little wacko. Times Square. A little worried about her, but uh, she assured me she was fine. And then she did Margaritaville. This is her husband Lester's personal favorite. And she's a parrot head. She, she is. And she loves Jimmy Buffett and his songs, and she 
made this for that song, and she always sings it when she shows it to you, but I won't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, it is. I should explain, and it's obvious, I know nothing about quilts or art. So I look at it from a cowboy's point of view, because I love horses. These are just wacko, but she <laughs> loves them. Wacko. <laughs> and then these are what I call the hippie flowers. Oh, that's... I think these are called her splat series. Did you know that? No. I but think, that yeah. sounds like it should be the splats. Or yeah. else it was pond scum. It might have been that, too. Yes, that was one of... I remember the name. The quilt was very green. Yeah, splat or pond scum. We'll go with either. And oh, that's from a collection. They beautiful. let us borrow it beautiful. for the exhibit. It's called Silent Partners. I love that one. I love that quilt. Very understated. Mm -hmm. Must be when she wasn't wacko anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Joyride or Pride and Joy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going on like this now, huh? Yes. This might have been pond scum. No. No. Pond scum's not here. Oh. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you. Oh, sad. It's not here. This is a fall. Actually, it starts at the end of that row and goes this way chronologically, but I don't think it makes much difference. This is Lincoln Logs. This is one of my personal favorites. I just. I would I not. Why. I would not put Libby's name to this. It's, it's very different, different from the others. Yeah. And I, I, maybe that's one reason I like it. It's a little, a little different. I think one thing, Libby, um, the way she approaches her work, she's very, very focused. Oh, you absolutely. Know? And, and, you know, heaven forbid, once she starts a quilt, she has it finished in a very short time. And I understand you're somewhat the same way. Get uh, not like into her. Into that groove. And <laughs> she only does one project at a time. Oh, that's. She yes. never starts one until she has it completely yes. finished. And this one is what? This is part of the Drift series. Okay. This is, uh, this particular one is, it just has the name Drift 4. She started experimenting and doing series where there were similar patterns but different colors. And these are Drift 4 and Drift 6. I'm reading, I didn't know their names. And I see on here, she's using some very sheer fabric on top. And then, the, and then couching down threads and stuff. Very unusual. But she's never afraid to try anything. You she know what loves I mean? experimenting. I know yeah, that. look at this. Same thing. Wow. She said unkind things about this quilt. <laughs> it nearly drove her crazy. Oh, really? And uh, she learned a lot about circles, but it was a while before she wanted to do another circle quilt, she told me. And this one, I love the colors. This is another one of my favorites. I'm not sure R Rococo Riffs. To me, those are, are, that's her, that's Libby. These, these are some of her very favorite colors. Yeah. And the design pattern, she does beautiful calligraphy. It reminds me of that, so. And there's yet another row, right? Yes, so one more. Oh, I love these pinata quilts. I love yeah. these pinata these quilts. Just some of those. I think these are really just like uh, teaching samples, to tell you the truth. Yes, she can whip those out in no time, or yeah. she could before the stroke, so. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this quilt. This is another circle quilt. She came back to it. She, <laughs> she didn't give up on circles, but I like this one too. High Hopes. I like the name of it. Yeah. And the colors. And then she did a whole series yeah, called Watch Your Step. And this is one of the Watch Your Step. This yeah. is the fall. This is a whole exhibit. Now, I'm not familiar with yeah. these flowers. I don't think I've seen them before. Well, this is something she made last year called Floral Delight. Uh huh. Of course, Libby made each one very quickly, but uh, she had exactly in mind what she wanted for each one, and I just think they're beautiful together. And then this is the start of her series. This of is watch part your of the watch step. Your step. Yes. And this one is the one at the beach. Uh huh. So of course it looks like the beach. Right. And this one is back porch. And of course in Houston we got a lot of dirt and a lot of mud, so <laughs> everything's a little muddy, and I think that. Of course, you got it. This is mushroom. This is my favorite of the series. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I like that one too. Now, Kathy. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I found another sister. <laughs> Sisters galore. And you, you, both of you are the ones that ride on the Canyon Bridge for the most part? Yes. yes. Ellen does the bulk of it, and she's the best rider, and Sarah and I give her a break every once in a while. Oh, so. I'm so oh. glad you came, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> you will be, have you even seen this exhibit yet? You know, I have seen it. I, I snuck in yesterday and saw it, and I was blown away. But I've never seen this many of Libby's quilts. 
being displayed or even just seeing them in her home. She was always, she always had them on tour or tucked away and um, so it's just a delight. It's beautiful. I mean, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so and you never know who you're going to bump into at International Quilt Festival in Houston. Good people. <laughs> so make sure you check out this exhibit. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.